Space weather alert, the sun just released another X-class flare. There is a new massive region that is rotating in and the full moon is going to be acting like a trigger for our sun. So if you are sensitive, you are going to feel this and I don't mean to scare anybody, but we have another larger region on the Southern hemisphere that you need to see. We just had a X 1.9 solar flare from old region 4274, which is now renumbered as 4299. This is the same X active region that was responsible for multiple X flares and one of the strongest geomagnetic storms of the year earlier in November. It is turning back onto the earth facing side again. The important thing about this particular flare is that the bulk of the plasma from this X 1.9 is not earth directed. And that lines up with NOAA's current three day forecast, which keeps geomagnetic conditions mostly below those storming levels with KP values peaking around a four and no big storm watch on the book yet, but we are seeing that we could get a major geomagnetic storm from this region right now, but it is our warning shot that the cycle is heating back up again. Below that returning region in the Southern Hemisphere, we have old region 4281, now numbered 4294. This whole area is a massive cluster of sunspots. It's magnetically complex, very active. And honestly, I haven't seen a cluster this large on a region in a long time. And this is exactly the kind of region that is likely to produce more of those X-class flares and big CMEs. We have roughly a week with this region as it moves across the earth facing side of the sun. It's not fully centered yet, obviously, but it means that it's rotating further into position and any big eruptions, we might have a better chance of those being aimed right at us. As you can see, massive sunspot region in beta, delta, and gamma configuration, very magnetically complex, 20% chance of having an X-class flare from this region. And we also have another region right over here that is numbered differently, but it's technically, in my opinion, that's attached, but they're trying to separate them for signature reasons. But we have this one just right alongside it, connecting to these magnetic poles. Now the region right beside it is very small in size. It's only in alpha range, but it is connected to that larger region. And then 4299 that shot us off that X-class flare. We still have a 10% chance of having another one from that region. Proton levels are at a 5% for this one. Our current solar flare threats are up 20% for an X-class flare. And I'm looking at this as kind of a heads up window. If 4294 lets go with a strong eruption, and while it's facing us, we could be talking about severe or even extreme geomagnetic storm levels again, like what we saw last time with that region 4274 when it was in position. But it's not just solar flares that are a threat. We also have a trans-equatorial coronal hole that is Earth-facing. A coronal hole is basically an open magnetic funnel on the sun where fast solar wind can stream straight out into space because this one stretches across the equator. It connects directly to that Earth facing side. That means in two to three days, we can start seeing a rise in those solar wind speeds as it streams reach Earth. Those fast solar winds on its own can bring us into active or minor storm conditions. If that wind stream overlaps with any CME from one of the sunspot regions, that is when you get those bigger spikes. Right now, we're feeling the after effects of that X 1.9, but most of that plasma missed us. But in about two to three days, expect faster solar wind from the coronal hole and and over the next week as region 4294 moves into the center, we watch for more big flares and CMEs that could arrive in that 48 to 72 hour window. Now add the moon into all of this because on December 4th, we have the last super full moon of 2025. In tropical astrology, the full moon is going to be in Gemini. This is going to light up your mind, your nervous system. This is communication, news, information. In Vedic, the full moon is going to be in Taurus energy. So there there's going to be safety, money, food, um, e emotions, body, those type of issues, the connection of earth that will be brought up. Full moons are going to act like amplifiers. And this is a super full moon and the last super full moon of the year correlated with all of these other layers of cosmic energy stacked on top of each other. So when solar activity is already really high, the full moon can act as a trigger. This could look like big feelings or emotional releases, sleep changes, vivid dreams. Those are those restless minds. There's going to be intuitive down 
downloads. If you're a psychic, you're going to be sensitive and sometimes more dramatic earth responses. So look for that seismic activity. Look for those swings in earth weather. I believe tomorrow we're going to be hit with a massive snowstorm in the upper regions of the United States. Not to scare anybody, but the magnetic, the emotional, the physical tides, they're all here at once. So for today and the next few days, this is how you need to work with this energy because your nervous system will be buzzy. You need to take breaks from your screen. You need to stop doom scrolling. You need to start hydrating. You need to get outside and ground the excess energy that's coming in. If we do in fact get any CMEs from this uh, on top of that coronal high speed wind stream that's going to be hitting us in the next three days, expect those auroras to pop up. Chances later in the week, into the weekend, maybe even early into next week. So if you are in those higher latitude positions into a mid latitude positions, look for those northern light forecasts. On the tech side, you may be experiencing tech glitches, your GPS, radio signals. And on top of that, if we have a solar radiation storm, those are going to be consistently in those conditions and high altitudes. And you will physically feel that. On the human side, these are going to show up as symptoms such as head pressure, heart palpitations, anxiety spikes. You're going to feel wired but tired. None of this is medical advice. But if you are sensitive, you already are picking up that the solar flares have something to do with why you're feeling so inconsistent. So use this full moon window to release any of those old stories, especially around struggling. Set the intention that you have full support, that you're going to be living in alignment with your actual path. And since today is Cyber Monday, today is the last day for my 20% off discount on all of my readings, my Starseed Origin readings, my Natal Chart readings, my Akashic Record readings. So use the code PORTAL20 or go to my website at checkout. Use that code sarahstarofficial.com or go to the link in my bio. I'm Sarah Star. Follow for more of your space weather updates, solar flares, your galactic intel so you actually know what is happening with the sun and the planets and the energy and how this is lining up with your energy in real time. Follow for more.